Ray William Johnson and Equals 3 was everywhere at the turn of the 2010s. Ray William Johnson was one of the biggest YouTube creators on the platform. Everyone knows of Ray William Johnson and his music, his sense of humor, his comedy, his creations, his interlinking with other YouTube creators. He was one of the driving forces behind the growth of YouTube and its youth demographic when it was younger. Equals 3 was the platform in which Ray William Johnson would roast random trending topics that were online. He'd have a look at what's in the news, he'd have a look at the memes that were out there, he'd react to them, he'd add his own comedy, his own sense of humour, he'd throw around babies, and he started in pretty much the corner of his best mate's room when he was, I believe, randomly homeless. Over time, it came to a point where he was so popular and there was the YouTube monetization program that he was finally able to start paying bills. In 2011, he had over six million YouTube subscribers and that was only surpassed by Smosh later. At one point, I believe he even topped out at 10, 11 million subscribers. He was pumping out two to three videos a week, every week. The clever style of reacting and interacting with the, the memes that are out there really supercharged his his interaction with his audience and his virality. But this also landed him in problems with people that owned the clips in themselves, struggling with a few legal issues, but he was able to swat those off over time. Ray William Johnson got intertwined with the Maker Studio lot, people like Epic Rap Battles of History, the early years of Philip DeFranco, Shay Carl, a real powerhouse of content creation. And in 2014, after six years of Equals 3, Ray William Johnson decided that he was going to step down as host of Equals 3. Now this wasn't him stepping away from his YouTube channel, this was him stepping away from hosting this variety platform, this vehicle that he had created. He tried a few extra hosts, but unfortunately his shadow was too big for people to feel. It's hard to have an ongoing main character in anything get recast. He really did try, but unfortunately it just didn't work. He stepped away at this time because he, he felt that the grind was really getting to him. He had other projects that he wanted to do, but he was being anchored to this one specific Equals 3 project. He wanted to create graphic novels, he wanted to act, he wanted to screenwrite and that kind of thing. And YouTube's a big time vortex for people. Equals 3 slowly retired itself and the channel remained dormant for a while. Ray William Johnson went off to create things like My Favourite Martian, but then got into legal disputes with Maker Studio, allegedly falling out to a point where when Maker Studio was sold, he was finally able to get some of his rights back, but it was a giant clusterfuck. In 2018, Ray William Johnson started a new YouTube channel in like interviewing celebrities. Rack Rants did quite well, but what he's known for right now is his return to almost a slimmed down version of the Equals 3 format. He now makes TikTok style videos that are also uploaded to YouTube in YouTube short format, responding and engaging with, once again, topical things that are happening. Once again, Ray William Johnson is interacting with content and his creator audience and gaining millions of views in short form content now. Despite the ups and downs of his career, Ray William Jim Johnson remains relevant. His huge impact on the YouTube world has inspired thousands of YouTube creators and he's easily still one of the most recognisable faces on the platform for a certain generation and demographic. His adaptability and hard work truly keeps him at the top of the platform and it's really good to see him back. He's recently relaunched My Favourite Martian or His Favourite Martian and creating more music now that he has the rights to it. If you weren't aware of Ray William Johnson back in the day, hopefully you'll see him again soon. Gone but not forgotten. Just like some of these other YouTube stars, what have happened to them? Go and check that playlist out there.